Hi everybody, it's Maya here at the Nori Point Environmental Center again. Today we are going to be looking at some water quality parameters in the Hudson River. We're going to be doing science! Got to get my personal protective equipment on. All right, so today we are looking at two important parameters of water. I have here a tank of water from the Hudson River, and you can see that this water is fairly clear. But there are some important things in this water that make life possible for animals like fish and plankton. You'll also notice that behind me in the distance, all these trees have leafed out. I mean, the green leaves are catching the rays of sunlight, photosynthesizing, and releasing oxygen into the air. Now, it may not be as obvious, but below the surface of the Hudson River water, the same thing is happening. There's phytoplankton down there in the water that's also catching the rays of the sunlight, photosynthesizing, and releasing oxygen. Now, we're gonna figure out how much oxygen is in the water today. Come on over. All right, so what we're gonna do is start with this sample where I've taken Hudson River water and dyed it so that we can actually see the oxygen in the water. Usually oxygen is hard uh, to visualize because it's clear. So we're using this method of reverse titration in order to be able to see how much oxygen is dissolved in this water. So I'm gonna start out by measuring out a sample and the way this reverse titration works is that we are going to slowly break the bonds between the iodine in here, which is dyeing the oxygen yellow, until we get totally clear. And then we'll know how much dissolved oxygen is in this water. So this sodium thiosulfate is what's gonna break the bonds. One drop of this is equivalent to one part per million dissolved oxygen. We'll keep going until this sample is clear. So count with me now. One. Is it clear? We'll keep going. Two. Is it clear yet? Keep going. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, getting there, nine, ten. I think it's a, still a little bit yellow. We're going to one more. Eleven. All right, so what we found today by using this chemical process is that we have 11 parts per million dissolved oxygen in Hudson River H2O. This is a useful chart that helps us see the relationship between the dissolved oxygen and temperature. So what we can do is take our dissolved oxygen number of 11 parts per million or milligrams per liter, it's the same, and line it up with, at the top, the temperature, which we found to be 16 degrees Celsius. And where those two lines intersect here, it shows us the percent saturation of the water. 100% saturation is good. That means that this water is holding as much dissolved oxygen as it possibly can. Below that means you might have some kind of issue, like a pollution issue, an algal bloom, something that's depressing the amount of oxygen that that water could potentially hold.